cry for your help when I have temptation hovering at my door. Oh, I wonder where are you, love, when the devil seems to knock me on the floor. to Jesus this evening he's waiting on you now you never leave me oh yes you're the one, one to face the things that are right praise the name of the lord he wants to fix things in your life and it starts with salvation amen he wants to accept jesus christ without him you can do nothing you can go to church there's so many different denominations you don't know which one to turn to but it's not about church it's about salvation it's about meeting the master at the point of your need which is your spirit need man needs a savior and he needs your heart tonight Do you love him? Do you need him? Praise the name of the Lord. We told Jesus we are lost. Amen. And uh, these people in the early church, they wanted that salvation. They said, what must we do? You know, men, what shall, must we do? And he gave them, Peter gave them, repent, be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus, for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. That's it. Amen. Salvation. And God wants you to give, get, receive this gift tonight. You might be listening and you say, well, I'm going to postpone it. But the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. It's not by might. It's not by your power. It's only by the Spirit of the Lord. And he wants you to know that he loves you no matter what. No matter how you feel. It does not matter what you did. But all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And he wants you to know this evening that he loves you with a unconditional love it starts with salvation yes you're looking for a church home and you want to go to church but what god wants you to come to him repent and be baptized and receive the gift of the holy spirit you must be born again praise the name of the lord he said and they were gladly received the word and was baptized the same day there was added unto them acts chapter 2 verse 41 about three thousand souls praise the name of the lord and uh, we see that they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in the breaking of bread and in prayer. And fear came about every soul and many wonders and signs was done by the apostles. And all that believed was together and had all things in common. Praise the name of the Lord. There is no commonality in the body of Christ because everyone has their own mind's mindset mostly in terms of what they think, what they believe concerning baptism, concerning the Holy Spirit. Whatever man has written to a point where you know we have to go back to the original gospel of Jesus Christ that he gave to the apostles that he taught himself and we have to get back to what is the true gospel of Jesus Christ amen if you have your Bibles turn to John, John chapter 15 John chapter 15 in the New Testament when I the, the word is taught or read I always say to get a pen a paper write down the scriptures the Holy Spirit may give you more revelations more more insight into what he's saying or you'll be able to identify if what you're hearing is not the truth amen the truth it shall set you free amen faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God but you must be 
discerning in these times because many false teachers and false prophets have gone out into the world and to possible even try to deceive the very elect. So make your election show by getting into the word of God yourself and asking the Holy Spirit to be a teacher to lead you into all truth. Praise the name of the Lord. In John chapter 15, reading from verse 6, he said, Okay, I'm going to read for sorry from verse 1. Praise the name of the Lord. John chapter 15, verse 1. He said, I am the vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he takes away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purges pur 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 it, that it may bring forth more fruit. No, ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered, and men gather them, and cast them into the fire, and they are burnt. If ye abide in me, and my word abide in you, you shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you praise the name of the lord he said verse 8 said herein is my father glorified that he bear much fruit so shall he be my disciples as the father has loved me so have i loved you continue you ye in my love amen and amen praise the name of the lord he said continue in my love he said if we abide in him and he abide in us amen we may we could ask what we want and we, he will grant it unto us but we must abide in christ amen so many different denominations i said and uh, each one has a you know seem to have a legitimate reason as to why they believe what they believe but if you abide in the branch in in the if you abide in the vine and the for the, the vine right Every branch in me that bears fruit, you know, that does not bear fruit, he takes away. But so he is the vine. We have to abide in me. Stay in the Lord. John 15, 4, stay in the Lord. When it says abide in me, stay in Christ. Be focused on who Jesus is. Who are you serving? Are you serving a building? Are you serving human being, a man? Or are you following after the doctrine of Jesus Christ? doctrine of jesus christ yes doctrine the word doctrine come from the word teaching means teaching our instructions are you able, are we following the instruction of jesus christ so abide in me stay in the lord stay in christ's word the only way we can abide in christ is by staying in the word of god we have to know the word the truth that you you know the truth shall set you free amen faith come by hearing and hearing by the word amen so when we abide in christ we want to do things god's christ's way we want to do things god's way amen remain in his ways he said and i in you he said i don't i don't want just want you to stay in me i want to remain with you he said and i in you first 15 verse 4 abide in me and i in you so when you stay with christ he will uh, stay with you and he would lead you by the power of the holy spirit into all truths amen the holy spirit you know it discerns the intention of your heart amen he knows the thoughts uh, and he will know to show you that this is not right or this is not biblical this is not god so you'll be able to identify and know whether what you are hearing is of truth uh, amen he said i will remain in you psalm 100 verse 3 said you you made us he made us not we ourselves psalm 100 verse 3 he he made us not we ourselves so if we have that that belief and that mindset that we are not ourselves we have an accountability to god for what we do for what we think for how we act everything is in christ jesus everything is in god everything is in the holy spirit we have to remain in christ he have to abide in us and he wants to abide in us too or maybe but we must abide in him stay in the lord stay in his word live by his commandment have a desire a zeal to please the lord amen we can do our own thing have no spiritual absolutes do our own thing however we want it however we feel like and decide that okay then god has to come in line with what man thinks no man have to come in line with what god wants and what god has stipulated in his word 
praise the name of the Lord. He said, I will, I am in you. I will remain in you. The branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine. We must stay with the Lord. Stay focused on Jesus. Jesus Christ is the author. He is the finisher of our faith. Amen. Many times we see in the, ch in the churches today, we see people are fighting for positions, fighting for favor with the pastors, with the, with the, with the apostle, with the prophets. God wants you to find favor first with him. Favor with man, it comes after. You must have favor with God and he will give you favor with man. Amen. But you have to humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. God wants to unite us as a body. There is no cause, so it should not know, be no, no quarrels, no competition in the body of Christ. Amen. Because we all need each other to survive. Amen. The branch, the branch need the, the vine. The, the vine need the branch. The branch need the, the, the husband man. We need God our Father. Amen. Okay, then when we look at the body, the body needs the eyes to see. The eyes need the face to be put on the face. Don't, the eyes cannot go on the feet because the eyes need to be up in the up in the top where you can see and scan everything. The, 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 the head needs the brain so they can function and tell us what to do, how to do. The, the fingers need the, the, the hand. The, the, the fingertips, the, the need of the fingernails to cover them so they will not be broken and crushed. So everything has a function in the body of Christ. Amen. But so, but we have to come together because it's one body. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. We have to be one unit. But we must start with abiding in the vine, the true vine. And my father is the husband man. We have to be under the authority of God Almighty. Amen. Stay in Christ. Accept Jesus Christ as your, as your Lord and Savior. And be a servant to the Most High God. Praise the name of the Lord. Without the leading and direction of the Holy Spirit, we cannot draw anyone to Christ. Amen. That commission that God gave us, gave to us uh, in Matthew chapter 28, the great commission to go out uh, and bring nations in, baptizing them. We cannot do that unless the Holy Spirit lead us guide us direct us amen no one comes to the father but through jesus christ but the holy spirit draws do the drawing amen so we must have the holy spirit present in our lives to bring glory to the, the son of god praise the name of the lord without the living leading of the holy spirit and the direction of the holy spirit we cannot draw anyone to christ it is the holy spirit that brings one to salvation in christ we need god more than anything we, can, we could ever want and we can ever need we need god we may think that we are independent we have our own philosophies our own gestalt of the way of looking at things but god wants us to have that mindset of christ jesus i want have a desire to be more christ-like who is this jesus what did he think how did he act what does, does he require of my life he wants us to be more christ-like by asking him to draw he said if you draw close to me i will draw close to you we are totally dependent on the holy spirit on jesus christ of nazareth on the father we cannot do nothing of our by ourselves we have no power of our own amen praise the name of the lord in in him we move in him we breathe in him we have our being jesus christ is lord jesus christ wants us to know that we have no power of our own all power is given to him he has the power of life and death amen and we are living in some times where we need to be close to god we need to be dependent on god we are totally dependent on him you may feel independent because you have a job you have money in the bank you have a, you have a, you know your, your children you have a, you have a, a title on your job or you have a, everything that you do you know the life i've given you as gifts that came from the father or whether or not it was not from the father however you get it got it you have the things that make you comfortable in life but you have to know that without that breath of life we come out of this world in one simple second in one simple minute because we cannot live without the oxygen that we cannot purchase because we cannot produce it amen we cannot produce life amen man has done everything to produce and reproduce and duplicate but they cannot pre produce a life amen praise the name of the lord God is the creator of mankind. 
praise the name of the Lord. In him we move and breathe and have our being. Stay in his word. And line our life up with his word. Stay connected to God, to Jesus Christ uh, in prayer. Yes, we can talk to him. Yes, we can tell him about our troubles. Yes, we can come to him and ask him for salvation on tonight because we want to make sure that we are born again and that our name is written in heaven. You may think uh, that's okay then I know God because I know about him since I was a child. But he said you must confess with your mouth. Believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. Things are too disjointed for you to make a guess and say, well, I'm going to follow this religion. A religion cannot save you. A denomination cannot save you. It takes the blood of Jesus who for that forgives our sin. It's all through the blood, through that cross, to Jesus dying for you. He paid a price on Calvary and he shed his blood that he said if you confess with your mouth and you believe in your heart that he's the son of God and he can forgive you. He's the only way, the truth and the life. That's the only way you'll see that eternal home that he has prepared for you. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus is great, God is great, Holy Spirit is great. Praise the name of the Lord. Give him glory. Abide in him and he'll abide in you. Accept him as Lord and Savior. Come in unity in one accord with his plans for your life. No more can he except he abide in me. He's calling you tonight to abide in him. the name of the Lord worship him he said I am the vine he are the branches he that abideth in me and I in him the same bringeth forth much fruit for without me he can do nothing but before we go into that we said no more can he verse 4 said no more can he except he abide in me all power Romans 1 13 said all power belong to God we have no power of our own we have to rely and depend on the power of the Holy Spirit Amen? Rather than our own strength. We have no strength of our own. We have no power of our own. He is our all in all. Philippians 3 9 said, and, if, and be found in him, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is true faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith. Amen? We are totally reliant on God through faith in his son Jesus Christ. Amen. We are reliant on the Holy Spirit. Amen. Of God. The Holy Spirit of God. Not any spirit. Not no familiar spirit. The Holy Spirit of God. Amen. We must make sure. We say try the spirit. Let them see. Well, let So we know if there is of God. They are of God. We need the power of the Holy Spirit. That's the power of the God Almighty. Our Father. Jesus Christ is our. In our lives. Makes the difference. Everything is to him. According to Philippians 4 and verse 13. Praise the name of the Lord. If a man abide not in me. To the word of God says in um, John 15 verse 6. He said, if a man abide not in me, he's cast forth, cast forth as a branch and is withered. Amen. He is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned. The conclusion of this concerning if you do not abide in, in Christ is that you become unproductive. 
branches are burnt and you become unproductive ashes you are burnt what is the result of burnt branches ashes your life become nothing amen there's nothing that you can say for it when you stand in front of the king of kings and the lord of lords there is nothing on your record because you have not abided you did not abide in the vine you were doing your own thing you were living your life your own way you were thinking your own thoughts behaving your own way and having the mindset of your own thoughts you're guided by your own will amen by your own emotions amen and by your own brains god wants you to be guided by the spirit of the lord he wants you to come in one accord and the duty of the church is to point us into what is the apostles doctrine what is the doctrine of salvation what can we must we do to be saved how can we maintain that salvation how can we make it into the kingdom we must come into one mindset and receive what the God said concerning his word we do not want to be cast away when we stay connected to God through Jesus Christ his word and the sustaining power of the Holy Spirit then we are not spiritually dried up or we're not spiritually ignorant that we do not know what is of truth and what is of lie amen what is false what is deception what is heresies we need to be able to identify false prophets false teachers in the church and say no this is not what the word of god says i rebuke this in the name of jesus and i'm going to follow what the word of god says amen we need to be discerning we are living in terrible times and we have to come in one accord the church need to get back to the church in the first century that they came in one accord and they had all things in common they had fellowship breaking of the word and trying to live according to the commandments of what god had stipulated in his word praise the name of the lord because of time i have to end here but you know again this is choice gospel radio 92.9 fm it's your life it's your salvation and it's your choice shall we pray father in the name of jesus christ of nazareth you said at the name of jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that you are lord and tonight as we bow our hearts before you O god for that one O god who is struggling O god within O god that church that denomination not knowing whether it's right or wrong whether O god it's mandatory or if it's just perm permissive oh god something that you got they are doing oh god or they are looking on uh, in the place of fellowship and they're not sure this is not going down in the spirit they're not getting a weakness in the spirit i ask you to bring clarity oh god i ask you to bring direction oh god i ask you to lead them back to your gospel oh god that they will find oh god truth in your word and be led on the path the narrow path that leads to eternity oh god you said oh god we are sheep among wolves oh god tears oh god father wheat and tears going together until jesus come i ask you oh god father lord god to give oh god your people wisdom in the midst of confusion oh god within oh god your body in the name of jesus and that everyone that you have called will make it into eternity we'll all make it together oh god and we'll see your face and you we shall hear well done my good and faithful servant oh god for those who do not know you as lord and savior i ask you oh god for that one who said yes i accept jesus christ as my lord and savior i decree and i decree declare salvation tonight as they make a uh, decision to oh god father ask you to forgive them and repent which means they're not going to do the same thing the same old way again but they will repent to oh god and have oh god a love walk with you through the power of your holy spirit i ask your holy spirit to live inside that one and write that name in heaven and i believe by faith that is it done is this done in jesus name amen and i say god bless you and Jesus Christ is Lord from Choice Gospel Radio, your life, your salvation, your choice. Evangelist Jennifer Pope wishing you a pleasant evening as you continue to listen to Choice Gospel Radio 92.9 FM. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm.